Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video all about breastfeeding. I want to talk about my struggles, what I've done to like kind of help my milk supply, some tips, tricks, all of that. So if you're interested in this video, then stay tuned. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I want to first say that I did not feed my oldest son. Well, I fed him. I did not breastfeed. I did feed him. I did not breastfeed him. Um, he's 12 now. When I had him, I was 16. So at the time, I was like, Ew, breastfeeding is gross. No one really educated me on it. I just, you know, wasn't really into it. Didn't have time. Do I wish I would have breastfed him? Yes, knowing what I know now, but that's okay. I got another chance, so I wanted to make sure that I breastfed my second baby. So I tried to do as much research as I could before he he got here but of course you know you don't really know how to apply things and do things until like they're actually here presently in your arms no one told me how hard breastfeeding would be no one told me how demanding it would be um no one told me how sore my nipples would be okay like my nipples the first probably two and a half weeks Hold on, UPS is here, I think. Okay, I'm back. So what I was saying is that your nipples are just so sore for the first two and a half to three weeks. At least that was the case for me, for someone who has never breastfed before. So unless you're used to someone sucking on your nipples all day, every day, then it's gonna be painful. So just kind of brace yourself for that. So luckily there are some things you can do to kind of help the pain and everything. So I took a lot of hot showers. I mean, my, my nipples were so sensitive to even just the water pressure of our shower. Like I couldn't have it hit directly on my nipples because it hurt. So I would have to get like washcloths and just kind of put them on my boobs while I was in the shower just so the water wasn't hitting them directly, which is so crazy. Um, I also just put on my bras and my clothing and just everything very carefully because they were just so sensitive. So besides hot water, which saved my life, if you don't want to shower, then just like get hot compresses um, and just put them on your boobs. Like I have uh, gel pads that I would warm up in the microwave that I got off of Amazon. I'll link them in my description box. You can use them hot or cold, but I would warm them up, stick them in my bra, and oh my gosh, the pain relief that I felt as soon as I put those on my boobs were, it was everything. Another thing I did, which my doctor was okay with, she prescribed me ibuprofen. Ibuprofen? <laughs> she prescribed me ibuprofen, like 500 milligrams or something. And if I wouldn't have had the ibuprofen, I don't think I would have survived the first two and a half weeks. I really, truly don't like that. Ibuprofen saved my life. So highly recommend if, you know, you're okay with that. I just remember my nipples just cracking and bleeding and there was one time when I was pumping and I saw blood go in because my nipples were bleeding. It was awful, like, ugh. It makes me cringe thinking about it because we're, we're in such a better place now, but those first few weeks were just so rough. Um, I used lots of Lansano nipple cream. I would put breast milk on my nipples. Just, I would try to do everything I could to just get by. I kept telling myself, this is just a little phase. It's gonna get better. Things are gonna get better. And they did with time. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if he wasn't latching right. I watched tons of videos on YouTube. Um, and I think, honestly, I just think I had to get used to him being on my nipple. And he was a cluster feeder, so he was on my nipple all the time. I mean, I just remember dreading feeding him because the, the pain that I felt the first few seconds that he would suck my boob was just excruciating. And I did not want to deal with that. So every time feeding time came around, which is like every hour and a half, two hours i just i wanted to cry like it was so hard so hard honestly breastfeeding for me has was harder than giving birth with was harder than being in labor like breastfeeding has been a journey that's for sure <laughs> um also make sure that you are showering every single day because you don't want like any type of like infection to happen on your nipples you want to make sure your nipples are clean so do take a hot shower every day do take that five ten minutes whatever you can to yourself to just enjoy that shower because taking a hot shower is the best thing that you're gonna do 
so yeah I started breastfeeding as soon as I had him um, obviously in the beginning they're getting colostrum which is really awesome so after I would feed my son I would also pump which I dreaded I did not want to pump after I fed him but by that time my nipples you know were kind of like numb almost so it was a good time to use my pump it also you know helped bring in my milk supply more um, I don't think my milk supply came in until let's see I had him on a Thursday and I want to say Monday or Tuesday I finally noticed real milk come in um, you know it's real milk obviously because it's white slash yellow it's not that like orangey color that colostrum is but colostrum is amazing for your baby if you do pump and you can pump try to get as much as that as you can because there's so many just different ways that you can use that uh, down the road for baby so I think that helped a lot with my milk supply pumping right after breastfeeding I would do it a couple times a day um, as much as I didn't want to as much as it hurt I did it and I'm very glad I did so there was a time I want to say right around like the one month mark my son is nine weeks old now so right around like four to five weeks my milk supply just tanked I mean I felt like I wasn't feeding my baby um, when I would pump I would only maybe get like an ounce I mean I my milk supply just was not there and I was so discouraged I thought I was gonna have to supplement with formula which is okay if you have to I'm not like hating on that or anything but for me I wanted to exhaust every resource that I could to try to get my milk supply back up before I tried to supplement you know with formula so I wasn't on my period I know your period can play a factor stress can play a factor your diet can play a factor whether you're staying hydrated can play a factor there's so many things that can affect your milk supply it's it's crazy it's it's so hard having to just juggle all these things to make sure that your milk supply is up so that's why I said breastfeeding just has been very demanding very hard but it's definitely worth it in the end for you and for your baby to get my milk supply back up I just started googling a million things I was like what can I do so a lot of the articles that I read said to eat like oatmeal oats eat dairy you know stay very hydrated blue Gatorade um, what else lots of potatoes so you can bet that the next day I was eating tons of oatmeal I was eating tons of potatoes I was drinking lots of milk and just trying everything I could to boost my supply and I kid you not the next day my boobs were so full I had to pump you know several times that day because my boobs were just leaking <laughs> with milk because they were so full and from that day forward I was like, all right, I got this. Also, I read that iron, you need to make sure that your iron is up. You can do that by eating, you know, leafy greens, foods, spinach, all that, or take an iron supplement, or um, make sure you're taking your prenatals. That's another thing. Prenatals have every type of like nutrient that your baby needs and that you need to kind of help your supply. So my prenatals don't have iron in them because I take gummies. So if you're like me, you can't take regular pills, you have to have the gummy prenatal. Those don't have iron in them, so make sure you are also adding in iron with your gummy. So that's another tip. I take my prenatal and my iron every single night. Every single day I wake up, I eat oatmeal. If I don't eat oatmeal, I will eat like an oatmeal bar or something like that that has like oats in it. And honestly, I feel like that has helped my milk supply so much. When I eat that in the morning, I also have a glass of my lactose milk. And yeah, that's pretty much what I do every single day. And, you know, I also try to incorporate, you know, spinach, salads, um, like potatoes. I eat a lot of potatoes. I wouldn't say I eat a potato every night, but definitely maybe two times a week, whether it's mashed potatoes or just like a baked potato. Honestly, my prenatal my iron I stay hydrated I drink a lot of water I also drink Gatorade milk and between all that my milk supply has been great I would say I pump one to two times a day but I breastfeed baby 
every two hours besides when he's sleeping. So yeah, we have a really good routine going. My milk supply has been great. Um, I will show you guys what I have been able to pump as far as like my freezer stash. I'm still working on it. I do want to have a good freezer stash, you know, for when, whenever the time comes when I can't breastfeed or when baby is not interested in breastfeeding anymore. Um, that way I can still have that, you know, for him. So we're putting away groceries, so I wanted to show you my freezer stash real quick. Can you say hi to everyone? He's getting so big, it's crazy. Here is what I have so far. Um, I've tried to like separate it by months. So there's like October and November. I have some extra ones back there and like underneath the bags. And then up here, I have some as well. This is December's so far. So let's see. So yeah, we have quite a few of December so far. So still working on like how to keep it organized. As you can see, we're running out of room in our freezer. We need a bigger freezer. <laughs> so as far as what I use to, um, as far as what I use to pump, in the beginning I used the Medela pump, which is what my insurance covered at work. Can't say I was a fan of it. I honestly hated being attached to the wall, like when there was so many other things I needed to do. But the first month, that is like all I used in addition to my silicone pump. I definitely preferred my silicone pump more rather than my Medela pump. Just because my silicone pump was hands-free, when my baby was nursing on my right boob, I just stuck it on my left boob. And basically what it does is your nipple, it just drips into the silicone pump. And what I would do is just put that in a bag and then I would wait until baby ate later again and I would stick that silicone pump back on my boob, get some more, put it in a bag and then once I had, I like to try to get at least four ounces for my freezer stash. So once I had four ounces, I would zip up the bag and put it in the freezer. Um, Medela pump, it worked fine. I have no complaints other than the fact that I had to be stuck to a wall. You know, that was not a fun situation. I like to walk around, move around, do laundry, do dishes, take care of baby. I don't want to be stuck sitting in a chair with either my, you know, pumping bra on or holding it. It's just, it was, it sucked. I hated it. I really did. And that's when I discovered this bad boy right here. So this is the LV. This is a hands-free pump. You can see no wires, nothing. I actually just pumped this right before this video. So I have four and a half ounces. So what you do is you just, there we go. So you just stick this on your boob and it basically suctions your nipple and yeah, it's hands free. It just goes right in your bra like this. It does look a little goofy right now. Um, definitely need to wear like a looser shirt for it to not look so obvious. Also, there is a light right here that you can see like through your shirt. So it is obvious, like you can tell that it's there when there's when you have a tight shirt on. So I definitely recommend wearing like looser clothing, especially if you're gonna use this like in a workplace or something. But I love this thing. I love it so much. I have another one. I wear them, walk around the house, do errands, go to Target, put this in. Or, you know, if I'm engorged and I'm away from my baby in the car, put this on in the car and it is just amazing. I'll pump on my way home, you know, road trips, just everything. This thing, I cannot say enough good things about it. I love it so freaking much. Does it have its flaws? Yes. Um, I notice sometimes with it that it'll shut off right around like four ounces. Like the sensor will think it's full when it's not. So I'll have to check it and see, you know, if I need to press this button again, which is like the play button, which makes it go. So sometimes I'll just have to press that button again to make it keep going. Um, so that's kind of my only complaint. I don't notice it leaking or anything. I mean, you can't be like jumping around doing exercises when you're pumping because otherwise it will leak out. Like there's a hole right there where it can spill back out. Um, so you just have to be careful with it, but it's not like you have to like stay upright all day when you're using this. No, you can bend over, do things, and it's, it's fine. I love it, I love it, I love it. I cannot say enough good things about it. 
when it's um, done, what you do, you just take off this right here and you can pour it into a bag. Um, you could also put, it has like a top that you can screw on. You could store it in your fridge for a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. You charge it with a USB cord right here. So you don't have any wires besides the USB cord. Um, and it's really great. It's highly, highly, highly recommend it. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you those tips, those tricks, let you know my struggles and just don't give up. Um, if you are to the point of giving up like I was, just, just try so hard to just stick through it because it will get better. It does. I promise it does. It doesn't seem like it's going to, but it will. So just try everything you can before, you know, giving up on it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my advice and you got this mamas. I promise. It does get better but yeah so a fed baby is a, the best baby so if you can't breastfeed then as long as your baby is fed then that's all that matters so anyways I hope you guys found this video helpful let me know what you think in the comments below if you have any questions for me leave them in the comments below and I will answer them but yeah we are nine weeks strong of breastfeeding so I'll keep you guys posted on my journey with my baby and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah! Bye!